Do you ever see a design and wonder, hmm, how did they do that? And then you start trying to break it down, trying to figure it out. And then you realize when you start playing or you see somebody's tutorial, it's much easier than you thought. I'm going to show you how to do that one. Let's get started. I have a set of nails that are all ready for some nail art. I'm dying to do some nail art on them. So we're going to put two coats of gel white polish on here first. So I'm going to go ahead and buff these guys up. I've got my new little duster and I'm going to dust that right off. Get rid of all the dust. Gel does not really like dust. Then I'm going to just get my brand of white polish that I'm working with and I'm going to paint these all white. Wait a sec, I think I'm going to use cameraman's skills and we're going to, with the touch and tap of a gel polish, we're going to do it quick. Cute, but we're going to need two. So here's where you can make a mistake. When you come out of the lamp, don't remove the dispersion layer. You need it so your neon pigments will stick. And you don't need any artistic ability here. You literally just kinda smash on the colors wherever you may want them. Right, just smash it in there. Use all or whatever you want. I should have had a towel to soak up that. They are strong in pigment, eh? I don't even know if I have room for them all on here. Anyway, you just put on whatever you want there. And once a powder is in a spot, you can't put more powder on top because it is actually sticking to that dispersion layer, okay? Okay, so then you smash it all in there with no particular pattern. And then I sort of, when I remove, you want to remove the extra dust, but I sort of punch it in at the same time and then just gently remove it, okay? Looks kind of cool even just like that. Oh, don't throw away your brushes when and if they just become out of shape or old or like this one. I probably left some gel in it and then I ended up cutting the tip off of it. And good thing I didn't throw it away because it's perfect for picking up your little powders. Now I'm going to get my white and a clear. Before you do this next step, you want to mix your white and your clear. More clear than white. And use the same brand so that they cure together. Okay, so all I'm doing is putting some clear on here. Now white is so strong in pigment, um, you don't really want a 50-50. Just put a little bit of white in there because I think you kind of want it to be a little bit more on the clearer side than you do on the whiter side. And you'll experiment with that and see what you like. And then take the brush that you're going to work with and just mix it all together. And what you're making is a kind of a milky white, a little bit on the see-through side. I'm not sure that that's milky enough, so I am actually going to add some more clear, which means I added too much white. Okay. That might be a bit better. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now here's the tricky part. When you're creating whatever design you want to create on you, you could draw a heart, you could draw swirls, letters, lines. I did some practicing, I did some lines and nets. It looked really cool too. But um, I'm just gonna do some swirls. But what I found was, because Top Coat and the gel polish are known for self-leveling, it's gonna to try to self-level right away. So if you want it to stay in the shape, nuke it right away. Like go in for a little bit of a nuke, that's why it's good to have a light like this. I really like this one because it just really triggers. Most of them do do that. But cure it right away. I'll show you. So get whatever brush you want. I'm using a very, very fine pointed brush. So I'm going to just do a bunch of swirls. And it's going to spread out a little because it's self-leveling gel, right? You just do whatever design you want. But go in for like a new. <laughs> go in for a little bit of a flash cure because if you do the whole thing of whatever pattern you're trying to do, it's going to self-level so much, you're going to lose the impression of what you're trying to do. And it doesn't affect the pigments under there at all. So just going for a little flash here, and then just keep doing it. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a little bit of a nuke. 
You're just sort of flash curing it. You're gonna do a final cure at the end, but I just wanna hold it in spot. And being that I'm working on the thumb, if it's leaning on the side, it might fall a little. So try to hold it upright as much as you can. I'm just gonna keep doing that for the whole thing because I am kind of losing its shape a little bit. Okay, so once you feel like you've got what you want, like I say, you could do anything. You could write your name, you could do a bunch of hearts, and you'll see why. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full cure now of 30 seconds. That's what this particular polish requires uh, before I do the next step, which reveals the design. So what you need is just some alcohol and This is where you need a little elbow grease. That means, I'm old, so maybe the saying is old, you gotta really kind of scrub it because you're taking away, it's like a process of elimination is what we're doing. And what we're trying to do is we're removing, and you could remove as little or as much as you want, right? And what we're removing is the pigments that are exposed and protecting the pigments that are underneath the gel, causing this really cool effect. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I guess it depends on what design that you're using, but look at that. It's actually so cute. It's so pretty. Okay. Quite funky. It is. It's really mm -hmm. funky, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what to call it. I'm getting kind of a groovy 60s, vibe. Yeah, late yeah. 60s laughing. <laughs> I'm getting kind of like octopus colorful tentacles or something. Yeah, yeah. It's so cute. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Let's check out the groovy <laughs> reveals. Adorable. Well, these are on shorter nails for me, but I love to see them on longer ones with different designs too. I love that. You want to check out some more videos that I have with three different designs on two different lengths, short and long. Same design, very different looking when it's done online. Check it out. <laughs> 